Taranaki is known for its mountain and its surfing, and it's since been called the second best destination to visit in the world by Lonely Travel, Lonely Planet Travel, shall we say. So, Debbie, uh, we challenge you to find other things to do in New Plymouth. How did you go? Oh, challenge accepted. It turns out New Plymouth has a really fun, arty West End precinct. Um, great shopping, Beautiful. by the way, and really great family attractions that aren't that far away. Take a look. Okay, so you know about the iconic Mount Taranaki, more than 300 kilometres of walking track in Egmont National Park. Fabulous, but what else is there to do in Taranaki? Let's start over here. Terewerewa Bridge on the coastal walkway could be interpreted as a surf wave or a whale bone. On the southern side, it perfectly frames the mountain and is designed to touch lightly on the northern side in respect of the Māori burial grounds there. New Plymouth's West End precinct is Arts and Culture Central, stemming from the revitalisation of an historic building. The building behind here was built in 1886. But over the last 20 or 30 years, it's become the public bar frequented by the, one of the motorcycle gangs. And gradually, town shunned this area. I was aware that the Yvette Brewster next door was likely to incorporate the Len Lai collection. And knowing that gave some confidence when we bought it that there would be a real focus in this area. And we could be part of an arts and entertainment part of the city. So that ripple effect is, is really happening, and that, that's the exciting part. The Opera House is a couple of doors down. Inside the White Heart, an eclectic bunch, an interior designer, the Snug Bar and a pizza bar are below an upmarket hotel, all connected and a nod given to the building's original features. Behind this conservative facade, the mum and daughter team designing jackets at Lushington are the first to admit they're a little offbeat. I think that comes from me. I am, um, yeah, very quirky and that's why I love the drawings. I think also a lot of people comes. here dress very plainly underneath and so having an exciting or different jacket and the fabric that's really out there just gives you know that little extra touch that's not all in the clothes. Also, we, I do design everything around a pair of jeans. Belinda's design workroom is in the store. Customers love it. And for this talented twosome, it's a buzz seeing their distinct designs on the street. It's really exciting. It is, <laughs> it is. And especially when it first happened, honestly, Louise and I would almost go downstairs and jump up and down. <laughs> or in the car, we're each other. Did you see, did you see? <laughs> Right off to Pukekura Park, 52 hectares of gardens including two lakes and the Bowl of Brooklands that's regularly used by national and international performers. Spare some time for some monkey business. This is a boutique zoo that the kids will love. From fur to stainless steel, the exterior of the Lend Lie Centre at the Govett Brewster Art Gallery is a hint at what's inside. Trilogy is a kinetic display that locals flock to. I recommend the earmuffs. You can read Trilogy in many ways. There's a story about three pieces of metal being pushed to the limits of their physics. You know, there's a battle with gravity. It's, it's really might and power trilogy. You know there's something bigger than you in the universe when you watch it. It gets over 105 decibels, hence the option to wear earmuffs. The Set in Motion exhibit showcases young artists. Yes, this is a VHS tape held aloft by a fan. There's something of magic in an idea so simple. Uh, as is the, the reflecting lights of Rebecca Bowman and a plate stand on top of a Tupperware container set in front of a camera spinning around by Tari McKenzie making beautiful geometrics. You know? um, I think um, in as much as the lie piece we've seen is really powerful, there's a powerful and elegant simplicity in the other works and a playful also. 
More art in the form of sculpture on the 14-kilometre coastal walkway, perfect for your evening cycle or jog. It looks so beautiful and I need to ask about your jacket, a Lushington? Yeah it is and I love the fact that Belinda and Louise only make a handful of each design so I'm not likely to see another Snoopy jacket walking down the street, I love that. That is so stunning and mm. the, the cut and everything on it is just yep. absolutely beautiful, absolutely yep. beautiful, I love it and all this stuff. And um, where should we eat when we go to New Plymouth? Definitely go to the Nice Hotel, this is New Plymouth's oldest wooden building built in 1870. So it's been restored, it's filled with an eclectic range of art and furnishings. Table at Nice Hotel is an award winning restaurant, beautiful meals. It's international cuisine with a Kiwi twist and the hotel rooms are elegant and full of personality. You'll love it. Awesome, sounds great. My sister lives in South Taranaki but I still need to spend a bit more time in New Plymouth it looks like.